Hey, what's up YouTube? I had to take my video down for a short period so I can edit it. Basically, I had to remove the uh, photo of the six snake. That's the only thing different about the video now. So it's back up. I have to re-upload it as a whole new video. But here you go. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Miranda here, Redline Exotics. And I've got a kind of a surprise little pop-up video, if you will. Um, you could also call it a vlog or a rant. Um, Enzo's here chilling with me. I'm just on the couch, casual day today, lazy Sunday. I think I was fired yesterday. Um, I was yelled at more than once. Uh, the second time being very aggressively, fingers were pointed in my face. It was at the front of the store in front of two other people. Unfortunately, they were just coworkers and not customers who could have seen how big an asshole the owner of my store is. I'm not going to say where I work, um, just because legally I don't think I can, and um, I want to protect myself. There is uh, a case, if you will, with corporate. Um, they already know about what happened. Um, but basically, I work at a chain pet store. And it's a franchise. When I was when I was hired and interviewed, the owners said they wanted to be a better pet store, be a better example, actually care about the animals. And that was cool. I was totally on board with that. Has that been the case? Nope. Not one bit. Um, animals are getting sick. They're not being taken care of properly. I'm trying to do everything in my power as one person at the store to make sure things are done right. But obviously, I'm not there 24 seven. I can't control the actions and behaviors of other people as much as I tell them what to do, how to do it. If they're not listening, they're not listening. And sometimes animals just get sick and it's not even our fault. They, they come in sick and whatever. Um, because honestly, the, the fucking animals you see in pet stores, they come from giant mills where they're mass bred and the business model is literally quantity over quality so there's just that to keep in mind and so why don't you get in the video and be cute since this is supposed to be like a pet themed channel good boy um but yeah basically that hasn't been the case um we started bringing, we started out bringing animals to the vet when needed, which was uh, more often than anybody really thought. We weren't expecting them to be coming in in such bad condition, but they are. I tried to rehab one bearded dragon that just didn't make it, it didn't eat. I've currently been syringe feeding, mind you, with my own personal critical care that I bought and brought into work, um, and my own Pedialyte and stuff, but that's besides the point. Um, regardless, I've been syringe feeding this Chinese water dragon that we have that came in recently, very, very underweight. Might not make it. It's good. He's getting better, but he's, he's not in good shape. He's not eating on his own. He's only eating the critical care that I've been feeding this lizard. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that anymore. But, uh, anyways, this animal, mind you, <laughs> is for sale. He's on the sales floor. We don't have any kind of restriction on him. We're not holding him, which we should be. This animal should not even be on display because he looks dead half the time. But, uh, they don't have any appropriate isolation unit clearly there is an iso room but it's not suitable for any animals because it's too cold and it's just more like a euthanasia room because anyway and, and, and a couple animals actually have been put in iso and died probably from being too cold um a couple other ones just from pure stupidity but that's um that's besides the point i could make a whole entire video on the animal abuse and the stupidity that I've witnessed firsthand. Um, we'll see where this goes, uh, what pans out tomorrow when I show up to my shift and find out if I still have a job or not. But basically, yeah, it's, it's just been a fucking shit show. 
Um, there's a ball python right now that is very, very sick. It has a very clear respiratory infection. I will insert a video, or not a video, I'm sorry, a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said before, the picture of the snake is gone, so I'm here to just paint you an image. Imagine a baby pastel ball python with a ginormous bubble of snot coming out of its mouth and uh, dried up phlegm that needed, that was basically gluing the mouth shut that needed to be peeled off like you would with a stuck shed. That's how severe it was. And if you are a competent human being, you would understand very quickly that that snake in that picture is not right. Um, something's wrong with it. So it needs to go to the vet. Its cage was, uh, it was like the wrong temperature before. Apparently it was too hot before. Apparently the owner looked at the cage and the temperature little shitty analog gauge said that it was 100 degrees in there one day and then it got turned down i don't know like i said i'm not there every day the cages aren't set to a true thermostat they're just little red heat bulbs on dimmers for each level so as the temperature fluctuates inside the store which it does do temperature does fluctuate inside those cages so um yeah whatever either way snake got sick Snake needs medicine to get better. It's not going to resolve itself now. It's just not. I don't even think... I, I brought up a week ago, at least, F10 nebulizer treatment because they've made it clear to me that no more animals are going to the vet because it costs too much money. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, yeah, I brought up the F10. I said, hey, you guys can buy this stuff. And we can try it. It might kick the respiratory infection. It might not, because it's pretty progressed at this point. Um, uh, in my opinion, with my experience, I'm pretty sure that the snake needs to go to the vet. It needs to get antibiotics to get better. It's also not eating, so it's not in good shape. Not in good shape for all the poor little thing. I even offered to take the snake. I said, if you know... I hate to be blunt, but this animal is going to be a loss no matter what you do. So if you want to give it to me, I'll take it to the doctor. I'll take it to the vet and get it treated and get it better. Um, or we can just let it sit here and die. And um, nothing's been happening. It's been two weeks. I contacted corporate. So corporate got involved and listened to my story and may or may not have already contacted the store and spoke to them about the snake and what we're going to do and what they're legally obligated to do. They signed contracts to open a pet store saying that uh, animals under their care would receive medical treatment when needed. Um, but either, anyways, that's just kind of part of the backstory. Um, owner scumbags, not taking animal to the vet, yelled at me twice yesterday, one time being in front of the store, put the entire blame of anything wrong with the animals on me because somehow I'm responsible for his animals when I'm just one person. I tried very hard to explain the concept of humidity and why those cages suck. They have screen tops and they have heat bulbs just cooking them all day long. The only way they're gonna maintain humidity is if they missed a couple times a day. I mentioned covering part of the lid Long story short, I got screamed at, fingers pointed in my face. I was told I was unfit for the job. I said, you're damn right, because I am unfit for this job because I give a fuck about those animals. They're not just products to me. And then I was told to leave. And I left. And uh, I have not heard back yet any word on whether or not I still have a job. I passed. They finally replied saying that they wanted me to call them and that's not going to happen because I obviously want, um, I want it written down if I am fired. Um, if I'm not fired, I'm just going to continue to be petty. And that's that. I'll keep you guys updated on how this goes down. Thank you.